how many of us wake up in the morning and then go to the ministry of finance to go and be taught lift up your hands how many of us wake up in the morning and go to the ministry of food and agriculture to be taught agriculture how many of us we wake up in the morning and go and sit in the parliament house but these people who work in all these spheres they come to us every sunday to learn of god but when they come instead of teaching them the way we resort to prophesying into them you'll be this you'll be that prophecy is a specific way for a specific people at a specific time other, other than that the sure prophecy is the word of god that is to be taught so that when there is a need at a specific time at a specific place to be a specific person god will speak you just go and then disturb the church you are not raising anybody look at the advantage of all the politicians coming into your church what you are interested in is money instead of raising them to go there and make impact so that there will be transformation we don't teach them see the issue is from jerusalem go to samaria to the ends of the world jesus was talking in terms of nations move he was not talking about communities churches they had a national focus and somehow we have lost that we are busily building our churches and the devil is taking the children on the streets. He is managing the parliaments. He is managing our institutions. And we are busily building our own churches. The situation in Isaiah's day is not different from ours today. So justice is driven back. And righteousness stands at a distance. Truth has stumbled in the streets. Honesty cannot enter. We can also describe ours as that truth is nowhere to be found and whoever shuns evil becomes a prey the lord looked and was displeased that there was no justice if truth has fallen in the streets and then these people come to zion into the house of god and we teach them the truth they will go out there and transform their society i pray that god will help us that we will refocus and save the land the agenda is this flag not our churches god bless our homeland God, and make our nation great and strong in the old testament israel were a kingdom of priests but in the new testament we are royal priesthood you couldn't function as a king and a priest in the old testament but in the new christ has given us that space because he functioned in both he and Melchizedek and once we are stepping in his shoes we ought to function in both so in the New Testament we are royal priesthood and if you are a priest you must offer spiritual sacrifice unto the Lord but if you are a king you must be concerned about the nation if you are king you must be concerned about this